Hello everyone and welcome back to another guide for Botania. Today we'll be going over the runic altar and all the runes you can make. Yay! So let's hop right into it. The runic altar is one of the ways to craft while using mana. And to craft it, you'll need 5 living rock and either a mana diamond or a mana pearl. You can use either for this recipe and then it'll give you your runic altar. To power your runic altar, you would need a mana spreader next to a mana pool that's aiming towards the altar. Now, this won't just continually be shooting mana, this will only supply it when the altar needs it. To add items to your altar, simply take the item you want and then you can either right click on the altar, just throw that in, maybe a couple flowers, or you can go up and press Q or you can drop them. And whatever you drop will be put right in. But also be careful because if you're holding some tools and you right click, they will be placed in as well. Now to get stuff out, simply hold shift and right click with an empty hand and the stuff will be dropped. And you can just do that for everything. And now everything's out. With this, we'll go over how to make all 16 different runes. One of the items you'll need to create runes is mana powder. And to make it, you can toss either a gunpowder, a sugar, a redstone, or floral powder. And each of those will give you one mana powder and they will use about the same amount of mana. The first set of runes we will go over corresponds with the elements. And the first one is the Rune of Water and is made by taking one mana steel, one mana powder, one bone meal, one sugarcane, and then one fishing rod. As you can see, it has now started. You get this little UI in front of you and you get to see the progress of your rune. Two now that is close to finish, what you do is you take a living rock and then you right click, then wander the forest, Whoop, I'm on the far shift, right click, and now you have your rune of water. Water. This process will give you two runes of water. The rune of fire is made with one mana steel, one mana powder, one nether wart, one nether brick, and one gunpowder. Wait for it to process. Living rock, shift, right click, and pop goes your rune of fire and you get two runes of fire for this recipe. The rune of earth is made with one mana steel, one mana powder, one block of coal, one stone of any type, and one brown mushroom of, well, and one mushroom of any type. Living rock, shift right click with your wand and pop goes your two runes of earth. One thing to note is that some stones and mushrooms from other mods might not work depending on can config files so keep that in mind. The rune of air is made with one mana steel, one mana powder, one flower, one feather, one string, and one carpet of any kind. Living rock shift right click with the wand will give you two runes of air. The second set of runes correspond with the seasons and the rune of spring is made with one rune of water, one rune of fire, a wheat, and three saplings of either the same kind or of three different kinds. Living Rock, shift right click with your wand and this will give you one rune of spring. One thing to note is with some of the saplings from other mods might not necessarily work with this ritual, so keep that in mind when you're picking the saplings. The rune of summer is made with one rune of earth, one rune of air, two sand of either regular or red sand, a slime ball, and a melon slice. Living rock and right click with the wand of the forest and this will give you one rune of summer. The rune of autumn is made with one rune of fire, one rune of air, a spider eye, and three leaves of any kind. Take one living rock 
and shift right click with your wand. Whoops. And then you have your one rune of autumn. The rune of winter is made with one rune of water, one rune of earth, a cake, a wool block, and two snow blocks. Living rock and shift right click with your wand and pop goes your rune of winter. The third set of runes corresponds with the seven deadly sins. The rune of lust is made with one rune of air, one rune of summer, and two mana diamonds. Living rock and shift right click with your wand of the forest and they'll give you your one rune of lust. The rune of gluttony is made with one rune of fire, one rune of winter, and two mana diamonds. Living rock and shift right click with your wand and pop goes your rune of gluttony. The rune of greed is made with one rune of water, one rune of spring, and two mana diamonds. Living Rock and shift right click with your Wand of the Forest and this will give you your Rune of Greed. The Rune of Sloth is made with one Rune of Air, one Rune of Autumn, and two Mana Diamonds. Living Rock and shift right click and now you have your Rune of Sloth. The Rune of Wrath is made with one Rune of Earth, one rune of winter, and two mana diamonds. Living Rock and shift right click with your wand, and now you have your rune of wrath. The rune of envy is made with one rune of water, run one rune of winter, and two mana diamonds. Living Rock and a wand of the forest will give you your rune of envy. The rune of pride is made with one rune of fire, one rune of summer, and two mana diamonds. Living rock and shift right click with your wand will give you your rune of pride. The final rune is the rune of mana. To make this you need one mana pearl and five mana steel ingots. Living Rock and shift right click and now you have your Rune of Mana. That is all the runes that you can make with the Runic Altar and each of these will be used in various crafting recipes for different items, tools, and other things later throughout the mod. Now you have all you need to continue your journey through Botania. That's all hi for you today. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to some more Minecraft guides and the occasional other video later. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.